It was so interesting to watch Giorgio make burrata. And now that we know what's involved in burrata, I want to show you a very simple dish to really show it off. For me, pine mushrooms or any type of mushrooms with this delightful cheese is just heaven on a plate. Now, pine mushrooms have a very small window. So these are available throughout the winter seasons, throughout the cooler months. They grow under pine trees and you can see they have that distinct orange colour. They have a beautiful, sweet, earthy flavour, almost nutty if you like. And once they cook, they almost turn buttery. They are my favourite mushroom. So what I like to do is just slice them. And you'll see that there's some blemishes here and there on the gills and on the other side. That's completely fine. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with them at all. It's just because they are so delicate. So I'm going to slice a few of these pine mushrooms just into large chunks. I really want to keep the integrity of them. I don't want them to fall apart too much. So just in nice big strips and a hot pan, put that on a high heat. We'll add some extra virgin olive oil. So a splash of that along with some butter. And you want to use the butter and the extra virgin olive oil together so the butter doesn't burn. So it does help that out. So a knob of butter, because we all know that butter and mushrooms go well together. We'll just let that melt away. And I am adding some garlic to this. And you may feel you want to add the garlic straight away. Don't, because it'll burn. We want to get some beautiful colour on these mushrooms first. So in with the mushrooms and we'll wait for them just to break down a little. OK, they've got some warmth through them and they smell so good. So we'll add some garlic, one to two cloves, just a small amount and some thyme. So just a few sprigs of thyme. That's my favourite herb to serve with mushrooms. And of course, you can still do this dish. You can use other types of mushrooms, button mushrooms, Swiss brown mushrooms. Any type of field mushroom also goes really nicely with our burrata. So we're pretty much ready to go. The one thing I haven't added to this is some salt. And it's a very important element just to really bring out the flavour of the pine mushroom. So a good pinch of salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and that's all you need. We'll turn the heat off, give that one last toss to warm that garlic through. We're ready to plate this up. So on one side of the plate, we're gonna add our mushrooms. Look at that colour. And for our glorious burrata, which is that mozzarella that's been stretched and inside of it, you've got that stracciatella, which is a combination of more mozzarella and cream. It is delicate. It's the cutest little money bag. So you can either grab it or just have a little spoon just underneath it, take it out of the water and pop it on the plate. Oh, look at that. And I just like to tie everything together with another splash of good quality extra virgin olive oil over the top and a small pinch of salt and pepper on the burrata. Not too much salt because it already has the salt in it. Some pepper. That is delicious, maybe with some crusty bread. I've got to show you what it's all about though, which is breaking that burrata and mixing it with the mushrooms. And have a look at the gooey stracciatelle that just comes out of that. So good. Grab a spoon, break it up, and just let everyone help themselves. This one is all about sharing. I have to have a taste because it's just one of those flavour combinations that is a must. That is the taste of autumn right there, the perfect match.